¿Qué pasa amigos? I hope everyone is doing very well. My name is Juan Blasquez. Welcome to my channel. I'm making this video about being in Los Angeles, California for four years as a Mexican, as a father, as a husband pursuing the career of an actor. Four years ago, my wife and I decided to move to Los Angeles to have a change in our life. We lived in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. for years where we bought a house, we have two daughters, my wife was doing photography full-time, I was working at a spa doing massage therapy full-time, uh, we have uh, a lot of family and friends and our life was actually really good in Milwaukee when we decided to just pack everything and move to Los Angeles. My wife had the hard part of the deal, she had to stay in Milwaukee and pack the house rent the house, sell the things that they would need to while taking care of the kids, while doing photography full time. While she was doing all of that, I was in Los Angeles looking for a job, looking for a place to stay, staying at Airbnbs, and renting an apartment is actually very difficult in Los Angeles because you have to show that you're able to pay the rent. So if the rent is $2,000, they wanna see on paper that you're bringing in about three times as much as that so six thousand dollars seven thousand dollars income a month to show that you can pay for a two thousand apartment about two thousand dollar apartment and i would go to apartments to check them out and then they would be like so where do you work and i would be like i don't have a job yet but soon so then they would be like uh yeah don't even waste your time in here because you're not gonna get approved to get an apartment if you don't have a job i also didn't know any areas of los angeles because prior to our move here i've never been to los angeles uh, i just decided to basically just move blind without knowing anybody or having a job or being here ever so i was basically relying on advice from people that were here so i would literally drive around neighborhoods and ask people how was the neighborhood i had an acting class and the teacher suggested that i move to studio city great place for families great place to commute for auditions uh clean lots of parking so basically i just googled studio city and i love the area and I was able to get an apartment. I got a job thanks to a friend that is from Milwaukee and introduced me to another friend and then I applied at a Mexican restaurant called Mercado, which I think is one of the best Mexican restaurants in the country. I am from Mexico City and I've tried a lot of Mexican restaurants in the United States and I gotta say this is probably the best I've tried so far. So if you wanna see me and visit me, come to Mercado in Hollywood. I'm usually there at night. I decided to take a break from massage therapy and work as a waiter for a little bit because for acting you really need a flexible schedule. You need to go to auditions, uh, you need to take off certain days to go and do shoots and callbacks and uh, being a waiter pro has provided with all of that and enough money to pay the rent. It's tight, it's hard to make ends meet waiting tables but it has worked so far. And due to a referral, I was able to get an acting agent right away and they were submitting me and I was going to audition for a lot of commercials. But back then my hair was a little bit longer and that's a very commercial look, so it worked well. I was also able to get a manager within probably a year and a half of being in Los Angeles. So I started moving pretty quickly in the acting department considering that I didn't really have a lot of acting experience other than improvisation from the second city in Chicago and voiceover uh, experience from the Chicago market. So my type right now, which is Latino, Mexican, it's good for auditions. Uh, but I'm gonna make a video about my acting journey on a different video. Uh, my wife really likes to explore places, so she always gets us out of the house. And that is, that is great because Los Angeles is one of the places that has a perfect weather year round. So we arrived in January, our daughters were like, this isn't winter, this is summer. And I was like, no, this is winter here. It was like 70 degrees and sunny in like January. And when we left Milwaukee, it was like 20 below zero and the windows in our car were frozen because it was just so cold. So that's one of the most amazing things about Los Angeles is the weather is perfect. You can just go outside and it's just hard to be in a bad mood due to the weather, like in Milwaukee. It's like super cold, so the winters last a very long time, so it's just hard to be motivated and happy when it's just so cold and dark for so many months out of the year. 
my wife Emily helped us really get out of the house exploring. We lo we started going to just Google and searching for little restaurants and taco places. And uh, that's another thing that I love about Los Angeles, the Mexican food and the Mexican influence. L California used to be Mexico and you can tell on the weather, on the influence of the food of how many Latinos and especially Mexicans are in Los Angeles, California. So to me, that made me feel more at home, more like I belong. I spent many years in Wisconsin and I loved it, but it was a hard adjustment from Mexico City to Wisconsin, to a city with 600,000 people. So literally having perfect weather year round has allowed us to explore the city, explore parts of the state. Emily loves camping and now I do officially. So we've been to Joshua Tree, Red Rock Canyon. Uh, we've gone to El Capitan, so uh, Point Mugu, which you can camp by the beach. So we've done a lot of camping in California. We did in Wisconsin too, uh, but that's another that's another one of the differences in camping in California is that it's dry. So there are no mosquitoes and it's hot during the day and cool at night. So you can sleep actually pretty comfortably weather-wise. In Wisconsin, it's humid, the tents get really wet. Uh, tons of mosquitoes, so sometimes you just have to hang inside of us uh, at a tent, right? A lot of people that move to Los Angeles are pursuing acting, modeling, directing. So it's cool that it brings people from all over the world. Very creative people, all types of nationalities. So that's really cool about Los Angeles. It brings people from all over the world, which also makes it a little bit difficult. Whatever you want to do in here is going to be more competitive because everyone's a photographer, everyone's painting, everyone's doing everything. People come here with a lot of ambition and thinking that things are going to happen really fast. I see that a lot of people are young and they have a lot of expectations that I'm gonna make it in two years and I'm gonna be rich and famous and that's definitely not the point. I don't know so much about uh, modeling or other types of industries, but uh, I know that modeling has to do a lot with age, so the younger you are, the better. With acting, kind of the same too, but it's different. You really have to pay your dues, especially if you don't really know people, if you don't have uh, people that can help you get in. And even if you do, it's just something that you have to put on. You have to take classes, you have to get better, you have to be patient. Including myself, get a little bit uh, impatient with waiting, with having to pay your dues, with having to let time go by without things happening, which also brings the point of living in this new era of technology. And that's why I decided to keep making videos because I wanna update and let people know what it is to be a, a person that doesn't have financial help from their parents trying to pursue acting. And nothing wrong if you have the financial help, right? But that's where I am right now, where we're just trying to work and pay our bills and keep moving forward and trying to achieve a dream of becoming an actor, right? So it's not easy but you have to have your mind in the right place I watched some vlogs of kids moving to Los Angeles and having a hard time adjusting to friends because everyone's superficial and there is a lot of that in Los Angeles a lot of people are very superficial with what kind of car you drive or do you have how many followers how do you dress what kind of clothes do you wear a lot of people do try to show this aspect of success right but that happens in a lot of places. I grew up in Mexico City and in there they have the same problems. People try to look a certain way to be treated a certain way. So it's kind of like if you watch the movie Parasite, they tackle that about the different social aspects, the hierarchy of econ economic level status, right? So in Mexico, I grew up like that. Kids, kids judging me by not having a lot of money like they did and people dressing up a certain way even though they didn't have the money. So you find a lot of that anywhere, right? So it's what you make of. But I'm saying that a lot of younger people have that. So in that sense, I am more grounded because I am married and my wife is super supportive. She shoots my videos, she takes my headshots, she takes care of the kids. She supports me a lot. And without her, I don't think I could be able to do what I do. So if you come here alone, you will have your own journey. You'll have to figure things on your own. 
And the social aspect is what you make of, right? There is a lot of superficial people everywhere, but it's what you make of. It takes uh, quite some time to make your own good friends. And we have really good friends, but a lot of times it's not about, hey, I have friends. It's like you have to take initiative. You have to say, I'm gonna throw a little party at my house. Come over, I'll mix uh, guacamole and have some drinks. You guys come over. And it takes initiative to build your tribe, build your group of friends. And you have to put them that work to create friendships, to create relationships, to create your career. You have to take your own steps. So in that aspect, I am glad that I actually didn't move here when I was younger, when I wanted to, because my story might have been different. I am more patient now and I know that it takes longer to do certain things. So I, th I gotta say that in the economic sense, it's hard to pay the rent, it's hard to pay the bills because everything is expensive. Going out costs a lot, you know, going to a restaurant even just for happy hour, you know, drinks are like eight, nine dollars, beers are like five, six, dollars so it's a lot more expensive in other places like milwaukee where you know you can have a good meal for not a lot of money you can go out to a bar and not spend a lot of money so everything is a lot more expensive but the minimum wage is higher so if you work a lot you work hard you can you can pay the rent you can pay your bills you can pay for what you want overall i think we're very happy in los angeles we miss Wisconsin sometimes. We miss the aspect of a lot of the friends that we had there, of how simple it is to just, you know, go to the lakefront. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Then uh, it's just easier to live in certain parts of the United States, but it's what you're looking for, right? So we wanted to get out of our comfort zone and experience something different. We're very glad that we did. If you're thinking about doing a move, don't think about all the difficult aspects of it. Just do it because if you don't do it, you might regret it. So if you're thinking about Los Angeles, just do it. And if you don't succeed, uh, you can always go back to wherever you are living or you're more comfortable, but you have to just give it a try. My light just died, so I'm just gonna wrap up this video. If you wanna keep up to what I'm gonna be doing in Los Angeles, following my path to become an actor in the short films that I'm gonna be making, please make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos about Los Angeles, about my journey. I hope that you like this video. If you did, make sure you like it and you subscribe so you can see what I am up to. Muchas gracias por ver este video. Hasta pronto, banda.